Funny. Wow, this is stunning. I'm so excited. Hi right, everyone, welcome to today's video. It's just gonna be epic and amazing. I can just feel it. So I am here in Kinghorn, just just turning out to be the most picturesque, incredible, incredible spot. I am here today, first time I've ever been here. Uh, I wanted to check it out for ages because the train line runs like straight along there. I see it every time, I just think it's so gorgeous. I'm so excited to check it out. And the reason I'm extra excited to check it out is there has been, for the last three or four days, consistent whale sightings here, which I am so excited to see. And also it's low tide. So right now I'm just gonna head up here, this place called Dewdale's Lane, which is on like the Facebook group for being the best spot, and have a bit of marine mammal watching. It's about half nine-ish. The low tide is at 11, so I might give it half an hour or so dedicate half an hour to the marine mammals then i'm gonna go rock pooling because look at those rock pools it's incredible and still you know keep a bit of an eye out but technically when you're doing whale watching it's not the best you usually go higher ground to see further out than going you know below ground out to low tide to see whales um but then you know it's a gorgeous stunning day i am gonna go rock pooling i'm gonna come back and spend my afternoon whale watching but i just had to give it a bit of a whale watch first because i'm too i'm too excited i'm too tantalized i'm too like ooh, the possibilities so we're gonna go set up and do a bit of whale watching so we have binoculars camera with my big lens on boom <laughs> someone who wants to share this with you the real question is not only am i going to spot the whale is am i going to be able to deliver for you all am i going to be able to film it i'm going to try my best everyone see that's how hopeful i feel i'm worried about actually getting it on camera and not just seeing it it's gonna happen it's gonna be ballroom dances of whales definitely not just jinxed it this is the debate do i when I go rock crawling, swap over my lenses. What I usually do is just film on my other camera. Do I keep my big lens on, film on you? But it means you get worse audio. We might go old school. I feel like if I change lenses on that camera, then, then a minky whale is just gonna like pop up and I'm not gonna be able to film it because by the time I've changed lenses, so we're sticking with my, my nice camera being used as a whale washer today. I'm going to film the vlog on here. Hopefully the audio isn't awful. I've forgotten that I need another cable to make the audio good on my phone. So that's fine. We're just going to go with the phone audio. Now this would be, this is typical, right? Everything is packed away. I'm going to go rock crawling. Got my wellers on. <laughs> now this will be exactly when, of course. Honestly, that's so funny. I look over there for a second and there's this big splash, but... It looks more like a bit of diving splash. It's so calm. If there's, if there's even a tiny seal today, you'd see it. It's incredible. Couldn't have asked for better weather. I think we can get down from those steps here. Um, so I'm gonna go rock crawling. Uh, there's loads of people out there rock crawling, which is just lovely to see. Wow, I can't, I can't deny my inner rock crawler any longer. So I'm gonna head down and I'm gonna go rock crawling, and then. I mean, we've got no rush today. We've got a whole day. I've got some cold pizza in my bag, which probably won't be as cold by, <laughs> by the end of the afternoon. Um, yeah. Oh, we can just chill. We can just get some food and just sit and watch and just absolutely take in this glorious weather. I can't believe how warm it is. I kind of ask that this is actually a perfect day. We can't have asked for any better. And this is the benefit of me being freelance now. So an extra massive thank you to anyone that can support me on Patreon and also people supporting me on this channel that are liking and sharing and subscribing. I mean, this, this is what life is all about, is it not? It is about this. It's not about anything else. <laughs> Maybe about musical theatre. 
apart from that, it's not really about anything else. <laughs> Look how lovely this place is! shell it's huge so this will live buried in the mud and in here will be this this kind of it looks muscly to be fair but a bit like a clown bit of shellfish live in here in the water vertically and it will filter feed and do all its awesome razory stuff but look how impressive that shell is it's like way bigger than my hand it's like half the size of my arm Editing Elizabeth here. I picked this song not knowing that the music went weird at the end, and just by half a chance, the music went Ooh, as soon as it hit the squat lobster. Incredible. So, this is a juvenile squat lobster. I mean, those are little, tiny little barnacles. This was absolutely minuscule of a creature. And I was utterly in love and couldn't believe I got this recorded. Squat lobsters are notoriously difficult to film, they are like absolute mini ninjas on the shore. It took me years to even get a good shot of an adult. I have a vague recollection of maybe seeing a juvenile one once before, but out of the hundreds of times that I've gone rock pooling, this was such an unbelievably rare find. And the fact that it was just happy to sit there and let me film it was a truly special moment. And you can see it's got these like little blue streaks going across its body. That's characteristic of this being a juvenile spiny squat lobster. They look absolutely stunning with bright red and bright blue stripes as they get older as well. They are truly incredible, great predators on the shore, and this was a great experience. And I also saw a limpet, which I sped up moving. I love seeing limpets move. You often just see them as rocks and people just think they're like a stone, but you forget that there's a snail under there doing its best snail life. I have got to show you how many sea slugs are on this rock. It's absolutely amazing. It's so many sea slugs. It's the most amount of sea slugs I've ever seen on a rock ever. I've got to show you. never never seen that many on a rock before and like it's not like every rock is like that it's just this one the the rock has been blessed by the sea slugs it's incredible that was amazing how many sea slugs are on that rock there must be 50 60 more it to call this an entirely unexpected but incredible experience was was <laughs> is an understatement there were so 
many sea slugs on this rock and I hadn't I I knew it was a type of Doris species which I I love there's a whole group of sea slugs that have Doris within the Latin name of them and and they look like this but I didn't know which one I hadn't seen it before and this is actually Onchidoris bilamata which this is gonna absolutely blow all of your minds as it has blown my mind well okay I am a massive fan of barnacles I have they're my favorite animal i've got videos on them these eat barnacles these eat barnacles what i mean sea slugs are my like next favorite and they're eating my barnacle babies <laughs> which i which is like you know it's nature right it, that always happens it's, it's it's the way of it but i was like how there are these soft squidgy little sea slugs and they use their radula which is like the the slug version of a tooth which is a bit like sandpaper like really really strong sandpaper and they break away at the doors on the top of the of the barnacle the things that bits that open and close and they slap out their insides <laughs> just i mean they were all just going around. Look, look, that one is gonna go and slurp out my favorite inside of my of a barnacle. That that is absolutely mind blowing to me. And then just when I couldn't think it could get any better, then I noticed this. I just set you up for a nice time lapse, thinking I'll take some nice like, time lapse video of the lovely swaying seaweeds. The sea slugs are on the floor. Just look down. And now I want to be very careful where I stand because there are hundreds of sea slugs just on the rock, just under the water, just above the water. It's beautiful. And I've never seen that before. To emphasise how rare this is, I've been rock pooling hundreds of times and you are lucky if you come across one. It seems to be random, maybe at the bottom of rocks, maybe around their food. But look at every little orange dot in this little tiny zone and they were everywhere on this and not knowing the species before and looking it up afterwards this is so common with this species they can be in the thousands per square meter which is just so unlike sea slugs usually and so unbelievably incredible to see they also according to online line themselves up with the way that the tide is so they all face the right direction they cluster together it is, it was a purely special moment and an absolute joy to see. And I was just dumbfounded. I was genuinely, I was just so shocked. It, I still can't take it in. I just can't take in. I've seen this many sea slugs in my life, let alone at one time in, in one place. How beautiful, incredible is nature? It is continually surprising me. I mean, I, there's, I'm never not surprised rock pooling and I'm particularly surprised today. Honestly, I'm in awe. I came here for whales today. Am I bothered if I see a whale now? Honestly, this is one of this is this just amazing experience anyway. Oh my goodness! That's the win always. It's genuinely, genuinely. Over there is Edinburgh. That's Arthur's seat. There. That is Edinburgh. I love Edinburgh. Is that this just incredible? It's so good. There's not actually much for sure apart from this bit. The rest is just like like barnacles and mussels and stuff. So I might reluctantly pull myself away, go and head up and look, start looking again for whales. 
merch from my mum. That was so good. I headed back up to sit and go well watch. I grabbed a coffee, got some food, like stocked up, ready for a long, long afternoon of incredible whale watching or hopefully incredible whale watching um i actually bumped into while i was rock pooling craig who uh, if you've watched any of my isle of barra videos was the whale watcher that was on like the ferries over there and was also doing talks at the science festival and so we caught up and he actually came up and sat with me for a bit as we watched for mammals this is me not like this looks like i'm frowning but this is just my brain constantly being like am i seeing a whale was that I'm seeing? I can't tell. <laughs> I think as soon as a whale is there, you'd be able to tell. It's just one of those things where your brain is like super excited, so you keep doing it. But there was just so much to watch and not like a ton to like go and like show you. Um... Sorry, I'm not getting the lovely beach view because I am staring out to sea and I want to make sure <laughs> it's about I think it's somewhere between three and four o'clock. I forgot from when I looked. I'm not seeing anything, so there's nothing to show you. This is all I'm doing. I'm doing this, and then I'm like, oh, is that a whale? No, it would just be a tiny weeny splash. Having a nose. Watching the incredible gannets. There's so many gannets here, which is great because this bass rock is just there. The bass rock is like Europe's northern the northern hemisphere's largest colony of gannets. It's not been doing too well in the last couple of years hit by like bird food and stuff but um i mean i'm literally sitting like opposite bass rock which is such a good sign that she usually gives you a tip off that like obviously the fish is there that's why they're diving they're trying to dive to catch fish and then things that also eat fish are things like lovely minky whales which will hopefully bring the rest of everything in um but they've been doing that quite quite inshore so i imagine that's probably not the best for a whale at the moment which is why, as the tide keeps coming in, we've got more and more of a chance, more and more addictive. What does he want more? But honestly, even if I don't see anything, this has just been a glorious, amazing afternoon. Doing exactly this, so I'm more than chuffed. Just sitting here and carry on sitting here, just watching the sea, listening to the sea, watching boats and planes and shapes that my brain thinks is a whale but is really really not <laughs> this is what it's all about right just connecting and spending time with the ocean it's glorious though i will say like come on whales it's been here we've been whales for the last four days they've been here all week excuse me we've had two species of minky whale humpback whales here and dolphins and apparently lots of hypothesis recently. So there's four species we could see. I'll take one of them, please. Enjoying outside space when it's sunny and lovely and also next to the ocean was a pure joy. It was a truly lovely afternoon. Um, it doesn't happen that often in Scotland. I know there's like it's great to go out in Scotland and explore and you can have all your layers on and it's an incredible adventure but to actually just sit in a t-shirt in the warmth um is not something that happens all the time and so that was lovely and I found watching for whales quite addictive I I often do I was I it's it feels similar to fishing to me where you know the next cast or the next second you're gonna see something that you might get it or you might catch a fish or you might see a whale that kind of that kind of vibe um i feel very much the same about rock pooling but there is so much to see rock pooling in an hour whereas whale watching is like you might not see anything for hours on end but it's still really fun because i mean look at this view absolutely calm it's getting so flat that you could see just anything appear. I'm not seeing any whales appear, but I'm seeing, like, you can see a dot in the distance. I go, what's that dot? Like, and have a look, and it's like a seabird. All the way out there, you could just see it. <laughs> there is, that, it's just incredible. I'm pretty sure that means that, like, as soon as, and I'm being hopeful here, as soon as marine mammals rock up, you'll be able to see them straight away. Not if they rock up, when. It'll happen. It's about, last time when I thought it was three o'clock, it is now gone four o'clock now. Um, and 
I'm still geared up. I'm still ready to spend another couple of hours here so far. Why not, right? At a certain point in the afternoon, uh, the seals were out. The seals were out and feeding. And you can just see how calm it needs to be to be able to kind of see the seals swimming along. They got the little head swimming there and then it, they, they dive down and they, they go and hunt and play and do all their sealy things. So that was a welcome addition to the afternoon after watching out and just seeing birds so far. Seals are incredibly common in Scotland, which is just a joy. Uh, there's actually like a rock on the train if you ever on the east coast train line like up from edinburgh to dundee aberdeen way there's a rock where all these seals just chill out all the time and i always like to look out for them so that my journey gets like the seal of approval oh um but it was so calm that this is just birds swimming along and you get this giant wake off of them i've never seen a wake off of birds like this and off the seals and it meant that my brain just kept thinking that it was like the dark shadow of a whale or something but it turns out it was just a bird or a seal not just a seal you know what I mean like oh it was it was just like agonizing like trickery <laughs> it has gotten so flat calm so flat calm the birds have wakes and they keep like, freaking my brain out thinking that it's a whale. It's just such a long wake from a bird because it's so calm. It's gorgeous. It's glorious. You can see reflections of the clouds. I'm having the absolute best time. This is chef's kiss, chef's kiss. As the afternoon went on, loads more people rocked up to go and look and see whale washing. There's loads of eyes on the water and then a notification popped up in the Facebook group. There were three porpoises hanging around somewhere out there. So I was uh, desperately having a look, hoping that I could see them. And then I managed to clock them. Yeah, left of the ship. There's that like, little yellow boy like before he gets to the pier. There they go, just popped up there. <laughs> porpoises like feeding and there's two together I think that's a mother and a calf and you can just see how porpoises are the smallest cetacean so that that's like marine mammals uh, you've got whales dolphins and porpoises and these are absolutely tiny for like context this is me trying to point out how far away they are yes we did it Okay, so a half a porpoise or a mother and calf should be two of them. Fingers crossed, I can't wait to go and watch the video back. But look how stunning and calm it is. Harbour porpoises are one of the smallest, if not the smallest, marine mammal that you find in the UK. They are teeny weeny, so you need these perfectly calm and flat conditions to go and find them. The seagulls agree. So I'm just so happy to see them because I haven't seen one in absolutely ages. And I don't think I've ever got like a proper nice video of them. So this is getting really cool. Fingers crossed, we can do this. Like just out there. 
For context in size, you'll see these porpoises pop up here, and then a bit later in this clip, like a bird lands pretty much around then, and you can see that it's like not a dissimilar size. They reach up from about 1.4 to 1.9 meters. They are really, really small. And I didn't actually realize that they are the most common marine mammal in the UK. But a couple of factors just mean that they're not seen that often. One, they are so small, so anytime there's a bit of a wave movement, you're not gonna see them, compared to dolphins, which are much larger. So bottlenose dolphins can get up to three meters and minke whales can go between like seven and nine meters. So you can see the size difference. And also they're not social. So dolphins might come up on boats and they might like come up to boats and ride the waves. It's called bow riding and it kind of interact with the boats and have fun with that. They're much more sociable, can be found in large groups, whereas porpoises are only ever kind of individuals or very small groups together, and they kind of shy away from uh, from boats and things like that. So it just all means that you see them less, and I think that's you know that makes this sighting really special. That even though they are the most common uh, common cetacean around, I you know I rarely rarely see them. So this was really really special. What an incredible day this has been. Absolutely stunning. I can't believe we saw the porpoise. I mean, the porpoise has now been kind of hanging around, doing a bit of feeding every now and again, which has been absolutely lovely to watch. No whales, no dolphins. Everyone was quite shocked. There were so many people around. So many people were like, well, I wasn't like talking this much at the end because people were setting up and they had all these amazing cameras and we were having chats about what we found before and and like tips and advice and it was really nice um to talk and meet and share that with with other people that like we're watching um but yeah really quiet compared to other to other days and not a lot of birds feeding which is like a, a usual sign that there's gonna be whales around so <laughs> i've been here since i think i've been here since half nine this morning it is now I'm gonna catch the train back at half seven. It takes like an hour and a bit to get here. So I'm gonna head up the steps. I'm gonna catch the train uh, and I'm gonna head back. <laughs> I don't think I've done actually being at a beach like way before low tide all the way up to high tide and like beyond in ages, <laughs> which is like a full lovely tidal cycle. So it's just been a wonderful, perfect, amazing day even though we didn't see a whale. And I will catch you all in the next video. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, and if you were anyone that I spoke to you during whale watching today, when you happen to be watching this video, thank you. I wish you best of luck in all of your whale adventuring. <sighs> Still hoping to see the whale moving. <laughs> Can I whale watch from a bridge? How cool would that be? No. You need to go to the platform. Bye for A massive thank you to my Patreons and you can head over there to access exclusive content and get your own digital illustration to add to our online rock pooling wall.